Yesterday, as of filming this video, I posted on my community tab and my Instagram story asking you guys who your favorite Disney villain was. So today we are going to be decorating dorm rooms, but every room is a different Disney villain. In The Sims 4, obviously. Welcome everyone to Evil University. We have five dorm rooms today and five villains to make dorm rooms for. And I just want to clarify, I tried to film this video once already with trying to make the rooms more accurate to how a room that the character would have would actually actually look and I found that it was just very difficult and it wasn't turning out well so these are Disney villains if they were in college and kind of human if that makes sense we are going to be starting with Maleficent who's by far the most popularly commented villain so you're welcome starting with walls I kind of have one in mind and it's this like foresty one because you know it lives in the forest but it might be better just used as a accent wall maybe and the rest of her walls could just be like black maybe or even something like this could be cool yeah sure why not as for flooring I'm thinking maybe we could do like a parquet I feel like we should add this brown because if you can kind of tell that it's brown and not black here for windows I'm thinking we could do some stained glass ones as well Ooh. okay that's perfect I don't know if I want to put windows on this wall I feel like it might just be better to keep it plain and maybe we just do this one stained glass window but you know what this stained glass window reminds me of is the bed that goes with it i do want to add some bookshelves and obviously a place to do her magic since we have realm of magic we can add a couple of things like a cauldron maybe a wand maybe a broom is maleficent a witch or a fairy i feel like she's a fairy because she has wings you guys can let me know in the comments two huge bookshelves and then we can put a desk in between i think if we do this one i like the hardware on it now i feel like the floors are too brown why does wood have to be so complicated in The Sims 4? No, I feel like Maleficent would not have a computer. So I feel like instead we should add a couple of magic-y things to her desk. Magic-y? Is that a word? I'm gonna do this like spiky chair. Kind of reminds me of Maleficent's horn. Oh, we could add some potions. And this thing kind of looks like that little orb that she has on the top of her staff. So I feel like we should add that. Do we add a cauldron? I feel like we should. I'm gonna size it down though to make it a little bit more pocket-sized cauldron. I'm gonna add in some of that green because Maleficent is known for for three main colors I'd say which are black green and purple and I like these lamps here they remind me of her staff as well so I'm gonna add those to the sides of her desk and I feel like I want to add this fireplace for like a hangout spot I also am starting to think that her walls are a little bit too honestly just too bright I feel like Maleficent's room needs to be a little bit more dark and dingy maybe something like this Does that look weird I feel like they kind of complement each other like the wood accent wall and then this like gray paneling I'm gonna change the wood floors to also match that. I'm going to add more bookshelves on the other side of the wall just to, you know, separate the wallpaper and this accent wall a little bit more. I could put the fireplace here. Oh, okay. I want to add those little mushroom chairs. They come in purple and green. Oh, <gasps> perfect. We could just add them here as like little stools. I do want to give her a comfy chair, but I don't know if one's going to fit here. We could maybe throw one up against the bed. Kind of want like a throne almost. Ooh. Something like this could definitely fit the vibe. And maybe to make it a little bit more comfy, we could add some pillows. Perfect. Oh, that's so cute. As for her desk, I feel like I should decorate it up a little bit more. Let's grab her a little wand holder, which I think I'm just going to place right here. And this wand feels Maleficent to me. It's got a little like green end and it kind of looks like a stick. That sounds like an insult. Your wand is beautiful, Maleficent. Ooh. And I really like this little potion shelf. I think I'm going to stick it right here next to the cauldron. There's some paintings on the wall from realm of magic i give her some little bedside tables also from realm of magic do we have some artwork maybe perfect put it on the wall here with these other paintings and i kind of want a broom right here a little bit of extra off-camera cluttering i think we're all done maleficent's dorm room i think it's just the right amount of witchy to not be too overboard or too accurate but i really like this room and i feel good with moving on to our next room this guy was probably the second most requested villain and that is Hades and to be specific I mean Hades from the movie Hercules now when I think of Hades I think of the color blue I think of the color black I think of Greek mythology and I think of ghosts so I'm thinking we give this room kind of like a haunted vibe I have a wallpaper in mind and I think it's gonna be perfect for an accent wall I promise we won't give accent walls to all the rooms but just let me live it's this wallpaper but what color I feel like this blue 
is more him. I don't know. We'll go with it for now. And maybe the rest could just be like a dark blue or even black. Yeah, maybe we go with a black and then we bring in the blue with his like furniture. Let's just give him some basic wood flooring. Okay, like how this is coming along. Windows. I'm kind of wanting to do like some black windows that are kind of spooky. These ones? Ooh, a window like that could be kind of cool. I don't know what kind of windows I would put on the side though. I feel like a bunch of circle windows is weird. We could still try to go for these ones over here. I don't really know. Let's grab him a bed. I feel like this bed could work. It's giving kind of like royal. Although I don't think Hades is like super royal, but he is like, I mean, he's like the king of the underworld. So that's kind of royal. Maybe we just do some windows like this. They're kind of spooky, a little spooky. Just to, you know, break it up in here a little bit. I didn't want this like full wall to just be empty, you know? Let's grab him, grab. Let's grab, grab him a bedside table. Let's grab him like a spooky door. I'm thinking Hades would be a little bit of a gamer. I just get that vibe from him. So what if we like threw a little gaming setup in this corner here? He's pretty funny. So maybe he could even be a streamer in this blue desk. We'll give him a black gaming chair and we'll give him the blue gaming setup. Now I think his desk should be black. I feel like we can add in the blue with something else. That's better. It's looking a little bit plain though. So we definitely got to add some artwork and really liven it up in here. This little clay loud neon light which is perfect for him and maybe some like cool pillars in his room would be nice i hate how when you zoom in the pillars disappear it's really upsetting i feel like we should also have a little tv gaming setup i just want to do like a little one like that maybe it would be better over here and then we maybe could put some like bean bags in front of it that is so fancy compared to this but i'm gonna throw some of these curtains over the window just to make it look a little bit more fancy in here i want to add some statues because when i think of greek mythology i often think of statues i don't know if anyone else thinks this way but I feel like he needs some statues in his like our friends here the little skelly guys I also feel like these like floating head things also feel very 80s to me okay maybe a rug would be nice something on this wall maybe a bookshelf that would that could work the skeleton guards the bookshelf with his life he doesn't wait he's dead um and I'm gonna throw another beanbag chair over there not that color though I also just feel the need to put this somewhere because this little fox thing has like the flames like Hades does. I feel like we need more like ghost spooky stuff in here. We can put this rug here. Size it down. Cute. I feel like a little stone throne would go here perfectly. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. It totally does. We won't add pillows because we don't want it to be comfy cozy like Maleficent. I do kind of want to add some plants in here though, but uh, I feel like that wouldn't make sense because he's the god of the dead, so he wouldn't have any plants, right? Yeah, no, probably not. <laughs> Maybe one like this though, because it's not, is this even alive? It's a stick, right? His little ghosty lights. I also feel like he would have some posters on the wall, so I think I'm going to add that as well. I'm going to put this on the wall because it kind of looks like Meg, like it's got the purple dress. We'll just pretend it's Meg. And with a little bit of clutter, we have fully completed Hades' dorm room. For the second time in a row, I almost forgot a dresser, but there it is. <laughs> I also painted the ceiling this like blue clouds. Why not? It felt Hades to me. Let's move on to our next dorm room, which is going to be for Ursula. Once again, if you don't know, Ursula is the antagonist from the Little Mermaid franchise. Sorry, not the franchise, just the first movie. Also, ha ha did anyone know like that there's all these sequels and stuff to these Disney princess movies. Like I had no idea that there was more than one Cinderella movie. When did that happen? When I think of Ursula, I think of purples. I think of blacks. I think of seashells, obviously underwater. I think this one's going to be a little bit more of a difficult one. And don't worry, I have some Pinterest boards pulled up here. I just haven't been, you know, bothering you guys with that this time. Let's give her a purple wallpaper. Don't know exactly what that's going to entail yet, but we'll see. Ooh. Oh, I said I wasn't going to give them all accent walls, but come on. This is perfect. We have to do it. I'm so sorry. And then the rest of the walls can be a deep purple color. Gonna do some black wood floors, I think. And for windows, I don't know. This one's gonna be hard, I think. Maybe something like this, just on this wall. Let's grab her a bed. This is, I think, gonna be tough. I so wish we had a seashell bed. Wouldn't that just be perfect? I used this bed when I did Ariel's room because this pillow in the middle reminds me of the ocean for some reason. But I don't think we're gonna use it for Ursula. Ooh, that could work. And I would like to add something from debug that is not a pillow by any means. I think is gonna look like a pillow on this bed. And I feel like it would make it look just a little bit more oceany. This starfish here. Tell me this doesn't work as a pillow. I think it works perfect. Why do I feel like I wanna add this like on the ground here? 
Is that weird? Maybe we'll leave it there and I can move it around later. We definitely need like a seashell or something though. Aha, saving that for later. There's a couple things that I know that I want for sure. We definitely got to use this coffee table from my first pet stuff as well as we need those aquarium wall things. We can honestly put it there just to fill up some space. Maybe actually we could put like two over here and then a desk or put them beside her bed. I was messing around a little bit and I, I added these like walls here to kind of separate up the aquarium thing from the bed and I kind of like how it looks. I feel like it looks a little bit more purposeful. I think now I just want to add some pillars. Finish it off. Okay. And maybe a curtain. I feel like that looks really good actually. I feel like it makes them look a little bit more purposeful rather than just kind of sitting there. Also raise these up and maybe I can even put like a dresser underneath it or something. Oh my god. Perfect. Oh my god, I kind of love it. Okay, let's move on to something else. I've spent like 12 hours doing that. <laughs> Grab her a door. This one here has an anchor on the outside of it, and I kind of love that. I kind of want to make a little like living room here. Can I size this coffee table down? Oh goodness, what am I to do with this? I really want to use it somewhere, but I just don't know where. Maybe we don't use it. I'm sorry, it's just, it's too big. I'm either thinking this chair, which kind of looks like a seashell to me, or this chair chair that also looks like a seashell yeah let's do that kind of want to do the painting and underneath it we could do that coffee table yeah that could work i guess it is really awkward but maybe we'll just leave it there for now and i can figure it out later actually should we put the tv in the corner here kind of switch up the layout a little bit and maybe we put a little bookshelf under the tv and then i'm gonna put the little shell on the shelf right here sorry i put these here so that it wouldn't slide cute and then i put a bookshelf over here but i'm thinking maybe just a small desk in this corner. I'm gonna add another fish bowl. Ooh, you know what? Instead of this chair, I'm gonna add this chair. I know it doesn't work, but we're just gonna pretend like it does. Some more shells. And what do we got for artwork for Ursula? Yeah, let's throw it right here, actually. Perfect. We should make this bookshelf a little smaller maybe instead of a bookshelf we put like a mirror or like a little vanity area and then we can give her a little ottoman right in front of it cute and i feel like a rug or two wouldn't hurt off camera i did a little bit of cluttering but here is ursula's room all complete this one was a bit tough seeing as we don't have too much mermaid or ocean stuff that's like very usable but i feel like i did a pretty good job considering the limitations however let's move on to our second to last room which is going to be for Cruella de Vil. Cruella is from the movie 101 Dalmatians. I remember I used to have a book like the book of 101 Dalmatians. I don't know if it was a book first or if it was a movie first. I don't know. Cruella is very fancy. She is high fashion. She's evil but her colors are red, black, and white and she's very fancy. For walls I'm thinking we either do black or white. We could do this like black paneling and and maybe pair it with the same matching floor. Why does it have a little like white trim at the bottom? I do not understand that at all. I don't know. Let's move on. Windows. I would like some big fancy windows. Maybe these ones from Vintage Glamour. She's only going to have the two since she has the middle room. Maybe I'll make them white and black to kind of match this like weird white trim that this wall has. As for a bed, it should be fairly easy. We'll throw in maybe a little bit of red in there as well to see what we can get for a bed. Ooh, I kind of like this bed for her. Bring in some of that red and it's fancy and it's spooky. I put some little bedside tables. I also think I'm going to change the floor. I'm thinking maybe we do like a marble instead. Yeah, I think it looks a little bit better. I don't know why I didn't like the matching. Four windows. Maybe we could do like a red. We do these curtains. Is it too much? I feel like they're kind of perfect though but the thing is is that she doesn't like dogs that's the kind of the whole point but tell me that's not perfect i feel like we got to <laughs> there's also one specific rug that we have to use and that's this one the dalmatian rug it is made for corella corella needs a desk so that she has lots of space to create her designs i don't want to use this one because it has all the stuff in it but i just feel like it doesn't match the rest of the room and i'm mostly basing it off of the cruella that we see in the 101 Dalmatians movie, not in live action. Because I'd say they're very different. Similar, but different. Something like this could be cool. And we definitely need a red chair. We can get a little sewing kit here. I'm gonna add this little bag of yarn. And maybe this box as well. I also think that we should get some mannequins. I'm gonna add this mannequin here with this dress on. Because I feel like this is something that Corella would make. As well as I'm just gonna add a regular not dressed mannequin. I wish that we had like a mannequin that wasn't 
isn't like a person, you know? I wish it was like the ones that like seamstresses use, you know? These little fashion posters. You can add these sketches on the wall here. This as well feels very Cruella. Cruella definitely needs a big closet. I'm thinking we do a little bit of a built-in. Okay, I like this. Maybe red on the inside. We definitely gotta get that like fancy shoe closet looking thing. This has gotta go here as well. Okay, that looks nice. And I raised it up so I could possibly put something underneath it. Question is what? Maybe just some extra shoes. Gotta get rid of this wall or else I'm not gonna be able to place anything under here. I could just put a couple boxes of things. I kind of just wanted to raise it up a little bit so that it would fit better in the spot that it's in. Cute. I think that looks nice. And then over here, maybe we could give her a little vanity. Yeah, I was thinking something like so. And then a little ottoman. This. And then maybe just some like makeup everywhere. Cute. As for over here, I'm thinking we could put just a couch as like a small hangout spot what do we have for red white and black oh, we have this i feel like this is very cruella though i've never used this couch before and i really like it do we have any cruella artwork on the gallery <gasps> not pictures of dalmatians oh my gosh we don't but this person's room here gave me an idea of those vintage glamour posters oh perfect that is Perfect. Here is Cruella's room all complete. I just added a few more things off camera, but I really like how this room turned out. I think it's very Cruella, but let me know if you guys think that Cruella would approve. Moving on to our last and final room, which is going to be for Mother Gothel. Mother Gothel is probably my favorite Disney villain, but you know, I love Tangled, so that might be a little bit biased. But obviously the colors, the colors I think of when I think of Mother Gothel are red and also black. Black. She wears a lot of gold, so we can add a lot of that in there as well. I never really thought about the fact that her name is Gothel. Like, that's just her name. For her wallpaper, I'm thinking we do red and maybe black. I don't know. We'll see. I feel like this could work for Mother Gothel. And just like a brown wood floor. And we definitely need to do some stained glass windows for Mother Gothel. I do just wish they were a little bit bigger. I think we might have a couple bigger ones. Yeah, honestly, petition for some more stained glass windows. These, this is so little. We're just gonna pretend like it doesn't look like that on the outside. But this looks cute on the inside. I think if we switch up the layout out what also you can't not love mother gothel i mean mother knows best is an absolute banger i think we do the cottage living bed because mother gothel is a little cottagey even though she lives in a tower but what does mother gothel do does she like go to work i don't know if she's got a job but that's okay i guess mother gothel is very vain so we need a big 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 mirror and probably a big closet to kind of go with it. It doesn't have to be huge, but a decent sized closet, even though we only see her wearing one outfit. We also never see her room, do we? What does her room look like? Well, in Disney Dreamlight Valley, it looks like this, but uh, yeah, I guess we never really see it. I never thought about that. We see Rapunzel's room, but we don't see Mother Gothel. I feel like this dresser could work. It's not like super big, but I mean, to be fair, once again, we literally see her wear one singular outfit, so. And I feel like we should add a fireplace because she does have a fireplace in her tower. This fireplace is closest to the vibe that she's got going on in her room. I think we put her dresser over here and then like a big mirror this one kind of looks like the one that they use in tangled Ooh, i feel like a chair like this would be very mother gothel i'm starting to feel like we should maybe change the bed we just need something a little bit more old timey and i feel like the metal bars aren't really giving that we could use the same bed as cruella it feels more it feels appropriate and then maybe we put this here do we need to use this i don't know i just kind of liked the idea of it it reminded me of like the window in the castle i mean we could make that the only window that would that would be accurate to how the actual castle is in the movie and we could just throw those two there if we wanted bedside tables honestly maybe just the one so that we have room this door feels very rapunzel -y to me all right we got the seating do we put a tv i mean we could we might as well or we could just put a painting <gasps> Ooh, do we have a painting oh we have this that someone has made oh these are perfect we can literally just put them all over the room beautiful and then what other artwork do we have that we could just throw above the mantle here i mean we could just put this photo in the middle might as well we can add a little record player and what else honestly the room is still quite empty i could add a desk i guess maybe we'll add it in this corner yeah this desk fits with a little chair i'm gonna try to find one similar to the one that she uses when she combs rapunzel's hair this one's pretty similar honestly and we can give her a typewriter sure a typewriter 
spider. And this picture here that we used in Corella's room kind of looks like it could be Mother Gothel. So we can add that in here as well. Just all pictures of her. <laughs> I also want to try to find a yellow flower to like represent the golden flower that she used to make herself young. Oh, that looks pretty similar. I might do that. Maybe I'll put it on her desk instead. It's a little small. Put some candles on her bedside table here. Ooh, we could decorate the windowsill here with some flowers. Cute. Oh, I could put a vanity somewhere. Why don't I put a vanity here in this corner? Mother Gothel would for sure have a vanity. I'd decorate it with some jewelry. And she definitely needs some hair products, especially a hairbrush and some makeup as well. And I don't know really what else to add. So I would say that this is our Mother Gothel room all complete, which means we are finally done our Disney villain rooms. My favorite is probably Maleficent's, but Ursula's is a close second. But you guys can let me know in the comments below which one was your favorite. And if you're still here, thank you so, so much for watching all the way to the end of the video. I appreciate you. If you like this video, make sure to like and subscribe and do all that YouTube stuff. And comment down below if I should do a part two where I do more Disney villains. With all that being said, I will see you guys next time. Bye!